So now we're going to do another uh, video. Uh, we're using the Pulley CRP1 computer. And uh, last time we checked out how to calculate the true track. And uh, now we're going to be finding the true heading and the ground speed. So what we have is wind heading, which is 149 degrees. We have the wind speed, which is 32 knots. We have true track, which is 0, 80 uh, degrees. We have the true airspeed, which is 170 knots. So we want to find the true heading. And in order to do that, because remember, the uh, true track, we sort of went down. Now we're going to go up uh, with the, when we're trying to find the true heading. So uh, first, uh, we get the true airspeed, which is 170. So we're going to have to slide this guy. So we reach 170. Right about there. That was pretty good. And uh, then we have the wind heading, which is 148 degrees. So let's go ahead and move this over to 148 degrees. And 145, 6, 7, and 140. Come on. 48. Almost. There we go. Perfect. So, like I said before, when we're finding the true track, we went down. Uh, now uh, we're going to go up. So if we look here, then we have the uh, wind speed, which is 32 knots. So we go up 10, 20, 32. So I'm just going to mark it off here. 32 knots. There we go. So we have our 32 knots, and then we want to plot in the uh, true track, which would happen to be 80 degrees. So let's slow this uh, back down to 80. Let's see if we can get that to as close to connect as possible. 80, there we go. And then we're going to move this down to, what was it? We're at 170 knots. Was our task? So 170 knots, that would be. Oops. Wrong way. Move this down to reach 170 knots. Bang. And that will give us, and we can read off our ground speed, which will be 152 for 155, thereabouts. So 155 knots is our ground speed. And our uh, true track was 80 degrees. And uh, then we add 10 degrees to our heading. Which will give us a true tra uh, a uh, true heading of exactly uh, zero nine zero degrees. All right, thank you.